Hello and welcome to Amethyst Staff Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today I was down at um, my local pound shop and I found 40 nail files in three different sizes for a pound. Um, and I thought, well, with holidays coming up um, and also a way to show off our beautiful DSP, um, just as little thank you gifts for people, I thought I would make um, some nail files with these sizes. So if you're in the UK, pop along to your local pound shop because as I say, for a pound you get 40 of them. So putting two of them in like this, what I've done is I've done a little pocket to go at the front so you can get the little one in and a larger pocket at the back and then just use some of our beautiful DSP and there are two different colours. So you've got sort of a darkish charcoal grey one um, and you've got the, the pale sort of beige one. So I've tried to sort of tone them up with different colours. But I thought, as I say, they would be great um, little favour gifts, um, all sorts of ideas. So anyway, it's very, very easy to do. And um, I'm using, for this particular one, the new, which is a bit of a sneak peek because it's the new, I need to find out what it's called, Frosted Floral Speciality Designer Paper and it is frosty and it's shimmery and there's lots of it and it's available on the 5th of September. So what you need to start off with is just a two and a quarter piece strip off the 12 by 12 sheet so it's two and a quarter inches by 12 inches and I've decided to use this one today and I have made myself a little template of each one because uh, um, it's easier for me to do it that way so that's how I worked out exactly how I was going to do it so let's put these two to one side and we'll make a start so as I say all we need is that one piece of strip of DSP two and a quarter by 12 inches and we then need to take our scoreboard oh no we don't we don't need to take our trimmer first let me just grab the trimmer because we need to cut that in bear with me a second while I just lean over and grab the trimmer okay we need to cut this at get my chair in um, so we need to cut it at six and a half inches and four inches. So let's just try and line that up. So six and a half inches on here, which is that little piece in between on there. So that's six and a half inches and a piece at four inches. So that gives you both of the little holders and you've got a tiny little scrap left over to do something with later on so let's put that out of the way now we need to get our scoreboard out and the scoring is very simple on this let me try and put it in so you can see it um, I can never get the whole scoreboard in so let me pop our measurements there so we can still see them so we are going to score it at half an inch and one and a half inches on both of them. So let's take the larger piece first and we're going to score it at half an inch. You'll have to excuse me if my head's popping in because it's quite difficult to do this on an angle. So let's just get this in to just hold it here because I'm doing it on a slant on the camera. So half an inch and one and a half inches you have to score quite lightly with DSP because if you don't you can go straight through it um, although this is fairly sturdy and then we need to turn it and we're just going to put a half an inch score along the bottom so let me line this up and take this at half an inch and we're just going to do a little half an inch score just down at the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to take the other piece and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we need to do half an inch 
down on here like that and one and a half inches as I say it's a very simple easy little project um, but it's a great way of showcasing our lovely DSP now let me have a look I put that down at the bottom so I want the paper to be lined up the same sort of way so that's coming down that way so we want it to be coming down that way so um, always have a look before you do your second one to make or for any of your scoring to make sure you've got your paper if it's got a bit of a pattern that you've got it lined up the right way uh, it's very easy if you're doing it quickly to have it lined up um, the wrong way so that's all the scoring that we do so let me just um, I'm going to put it in again for you so it's a piece of DSP which is six and a half inches by two and a quarter scored at half an inch one and a half inches and on the end half an inch and the other piece which is cut from the same strip is cut at four inches and two and a quarter inches again and you score it exactly the same at half an inch one and a half inches and then just a half an inch score on the bottom and that's all you need to do so with this um, it's probably going to be a little bit difficult for you to actually see this because um, and I've just realized that I've scored it up on the wrong one so let me just do it up this way first and then we'll try and score it across on the other side so just gently sort of fold it up along the score line and then turn it and fold it up along the score line I tend to run my fingernail along it first to just get it to bend just a little bit and then you can just straighten it out from there and because I want it the other way round I'm going to now just bend the paper back in the opposite direction um, DSP is very good in fact all paper is you just have to bend the fibers slightly so that when you're folding it across um, and you can decide whatever side you want you can decide whatever DSP you want but with so many um, of these little nail files you could actually do um, a complete pack of your DSP and uh, and then have them at any of the um, craft fairs or thank you gifts or whatever and just give you know a few out at the same time so um, now I am going to give it a, just a gentle um, burnish to just get it completely flat on there and then on this little piece at the bottom we're just going to fold that piece in and I'm just going to do that with my fingernails and fold this piece in and do that with my fingernails okay now there's just a little bit of cutting so this little piece at the bottom you're going to cut up to the first score line cut up to the first score line again and we're going to cut those little pieces away because we don't need them so just cut those little tiny pieces away on both sides like that and then you're just going to notch in so notching in right up to that corner to give yourself a little tab and do exactly the same thing on the other side okay so that's one and we're going to do the same with the other so just taking it up to that first little score line on both sides cutting away the tab on that side cutting away that little tiny piece on the other side like that and then cutting in a wedge on both sides it just helps it to close easier okay so now we have both of our pieces so now let's get to gluing them together now you can use any form of glue you want you can use um, Tombow, you can use tape, you can use, I need to get my Tombow which is just up here. Um, I tend to use, as you know, wet glue most of the time um, because it allows a bit of wiggle room. With this you need to be a little bit more careful because what you're going to do is just run the wet glue just down on this corner. 
this is me I've just been using it and I've just got a little blob on the top so let's take this and just run it along there we go just along the edge there Woo. okay and then we are just going to put that across and then that will fold down okay just give it a second for it to dry as I say you could use snail um, you could use double-sided tape whatever your preferred medium is um, the Tombow is just the easiest for me and then this little tab at the bottom we're just going to put a little piece of wet glue on there and just pop that up now I'm putting this on the outside because when you put your nail file inside if you've got that on the inside it can catch so that's one and then we're going to take the other little one and we're going to do exactly the same thing a little bit of glue on there just pop it across so you have a nice seam running right the way down the back and then just a little bit of Tombow on the end like that and then you can just get your little tab up like that okay so that's basically the two shapes together now um, what we need to do is to just take a little um, one inch punch and we're just going to take the little piece out of the top um, this just makes it look a little bit pretty you could do whatever design you wanted to if you haven't got a punch then um, just line it up um, just do it with a pair of scissors um, I probably won't get it straight because I'm on camera and it's one of those things whenever you're on camera and you try and get anything straight you very rarely do so I'm just going to give it my best shot Whee! this is me turning it but just try and line it up straight and just take a little pinch off of there okay now what I have done as well is I have cut another piece of just cardstock um, and I um, this is what colour is this? Um, I think it's fresh fig actually but I thought it would go quite well with this particular DSP and so we are going to um, this measures let me measure it for you it is seven inches by an inch and a quarter so it's just a tad bigger um, by sort of quarter of an inch but it just gives a sort of a pretty backboard to it um, I've done it seven inches because on a couple of the others um, I think that one's six and a half um, so that the top's just popping out so I thought I'd try seven inches but again play around with your sides and see how much you want on there so we're just going to take the Tombow again and this time we want to run it right the way up to that little corner piece and then all the way down um, don't over glue it but just enough says me sticking my finger right up on that little piece just enough on there and then just sort of put it across because you want enough for it to stick and because it's going to be used quite a bit um, you want that to stick quite well now I'm going to put this fairly near down to the bottom on this one so the gap around the side should be about the same size um, I've been experimenting so each one has been just a little bit different and again you can put it up where you want and then we're just going to press that down firmly try and not get too much Tombow squeezing out the side and then we're going to take the other little piece and do exactly the same thing with that just glue it right the way around the corners first because those are the bits you really want to make sure that they're glued down tightly and then just put some across the top and this piece we're going to take right down to the bottom and just line it up as best you can on the side there so if I pick it up you can actually see that that is right tight along the bottom as neatly as you can get it and then up on the sides like that um, now I would leave it to dry for a few minutes um, so that everything's sort of adhered in properly but I haven't got time so let's have a look at these nail files um, 
I think I'm going to put, do I put a pale or a dark? I think I'm going to have a dark one with this actually. So we're going to have one of the big dark ones and we can just pop that in the top piece in here. Just make sure that it's glued itself down enough. As I say, if you wait just a few more minutes than I have, um, and yes, if you do it just the seven inches, then it tucks down quite nicely. And then we're going to have one of the smaller ones, like that. And that little one's going to tuck in there like that. So just ease that open a bit. As I say, once it's completely dried, you have a little bit more room, but I'm just sort of doing it to show you like that. So as I say, once that's completely dried down, and there you have it. Um, now, what I did with this one was I put a little piece of ribbon round them. Um, so you could put ribbon round, um, you could cut um, a, a little sentiment of some sort round there. Um, you could put a little die cut on there, you could cut some flowers out. You could do really whatever you wanted, but I just thought that it was a very easy, simple project to make lots and lots and lots of. So down the local pound shop, um, 40 nail files at the moment for a pound. Um, I'm sure in other parts of the world that there will be similar sort of offers at, at their um, local shops. Um, so have a look at these because as I say, I think it's a quite a nice idea to have a nice little double one. So uh, you can put them in your handbags or as I say, you can showcase all of our beautiful designer series paper and give them as gifts. So thank you so much for watching me today and I do look forward to seeing you again. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so because I do post regularly with lots of tips and ideas. So thank you so much then. Bye bye.